great. So, uh, no one, okay. Um, but like Lori said, I am Italian. She was right on that. Um, and growing up Italian, I had a set of rules. I've uh, got a kind of a little booklet on how you were supposed to act in society. And apparently, nobody else got the book. Is there no embarrassment anymore? I mean, have you seen people nowadays, like Will has in Walmart walking around in their underwear and trying on shirts, sweaty as hell, in the, in the aisles? They just don't care. But, I mean, seeing those people out, I mean, I just don't get it. I seen this one guy, he had, I don't know if he was an earring, what it was, it looked like somebody took a shotgun and blew a hole right through his ear, and then he put like magnets in it, or something, I think it's called gauging or whatever. If I'd have came home with magnets in my ear, my dad would have thrown me up against the fridge. Just. And speaking of my dad, he um, is the Italian in the family, and if you ask him, um, I am Italian to Slovak, but he'll tell you I'm not Slovak in the least. You're Italian, you're Italian, you're Italian. Now, he recently wanted to get with society and get on the social media phase, and he wanted to get on Facebook. There's only one problem with this, and that he doesn't know it's called Facebook. He calls it my face. And when he asked me, he was like, hey Mike, why don't you sign me up for my face? I was like, what? I was like, what? My face, everyone has my face. Why don't you sign me up for my face? I'm like, you mean Facebook? He goes, yeah, my face. I said, you don't need a Facebook. He goes, why can't I be on my face? Your mother's on my face, your sisters are on my face. Why can't I be on my face? I said, I don't know if you are perverted or confused, but don't ever say that to me again. I don't want to hear it. And speaking of the internet, um, there's a lot of weird shit out there now. Um, and they used to be, you know, kind of hidden. People in basements, you never saw them. But now, if you like weird shit, you can just Google it for whatever reason. And if you saw a weird person in your neighborhood, you'd be like, yeah, no, look, there they are. Get them out of here, call the FBI, somebody. I don't care, I don't want them in my neighborhood. Now, if you like to dress like a baby, all you gotta do is go to www.ilikedodresslikeababy.com and now you're at the Best Western with 400 of them where I live. And a little bit more about me. Um, I know a guy, um, his name's Paul Julio. Now, I know none of you know him, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about him. He's not retarded, but he sounds retarded. Like, he has a little bit of a speech impediment, and he has one of the best sayings I've ever heard in my life, and that's, <laughs> you'll never guess. <laughs> you'll never guess. He says it to everything. Now this man, he was uh, my football coach in high school, and he actually was my boss at one point in time um, when I worked at the Fallsby Pool. Um, he, he came up to me one morning. I walked in for swim lessons because I had to be there at 6 in the morning to teach bratty-ass kids how to not drown. Um, and he comes up to me and goes, Hey, Bono, 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 you'll never guess what was in the deep end today. You'll never get. Go ahead, guess. <laughs> I said, Holes, it is way too early for this shit. What was in the deep end? He goes, huh, the gooses, gooses were in the deep end. I said, you mean geese? He goes, yeah, gooses. Oh yeah, fuck me, I said it wrong, yeah, it's gooses. This man's a teacher. <laughs> He's shaping young minds with gooses. <laughs> and another thing he did, which I never understood, is at football practice, he would never, when he yelled at you, he wouldn't look you in the eyes. For whatever reason, he would point at his foot. Why you catch your path? Why do you catch the path, Bono? The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I don't know, Hools. Um, I'm six foot four. Is there any reason we can uh, bring this conversation back up to reality with the rest of us, or are we just gonna hang out down here all day? <laughs> hang out down here? Cool. But with him, made me realize something. And that's, I hate stupid people. I do, I hate them. 
This whole thing, there's no such thing as a stupid question, bullshit, ends in high school. Because this is life, we're playing for points, <laughs> there are shit done of stupid questions. Like back when I was in college, um, in Bethany, West Virginia, at four o'clock in the afternoon, it's 118 degrees outside. Now the young lady I was with, seven o'clock that evening, asked me if I thought that she'd need a jacket. Now I'm a comic, so sometimes when people hang out with us, they try a little extra hard to be funny. It's awesome. I thought this might be one of those times. So being a gentleman, I said, hey, you fucking with me? She goes, no. You think it'll be chilly? It was 118 degrees three hours ago. Do you know what kind of meteorological event would have had to occur for the temperature to drop 60 degrees in three hours? Did you hear sirens? No? Probably don't need a jacket. Because I tell you what, temperature drops 60 degrees in three hours, <laughs> not a jacket, grab a lead vest. Because shit's gone nuclear, planes are canceled. Even if it had dropped 30 degrees, it's still 88 fucking degrees outside. And to go along with that, if you don't know that gasoline is flammable, I highly doubt that you can read in the first place. Especially a three banger like flammable. I'm surprised you don't see more idiots at the pump now. Flam? Flam? Flammable. No, no. Flammable. Fl fl you know, just fucking light it. I'm tired of reading. I don't know what it says. I'm tired of reading. Just fucking light it. <laughs> and or like a lane, when a lane ends on a highway, people. The first sign when a lane ends on a highway is at two and a half miles. Lanes don't just end without warning. That'd be hysterical. You don't think so, but if lanes ended for no reason, locals would watch, sit on the highway and watch out of town just kill themselves. Yeah, look, that dude, he didn't see it. He didn't see it. <laughs> he was looking for his iPhone, now he's dead. <laughs> but the first sign that when a lane ends on the highway is at two and a half miles. That is over 13,000 feet for you to move eight. And the rest of us do it. Most of us do it. We say, oh look, this lane's about to end. I live in society. I like for it to progress. And we get over. But then Jeremy Bluetooth decides he wants to get home a sixth of a second faster than the rest of us. And he uses the remainder of the lane to get in front of everybody. And we let him in because we're compassionate. But the time has come, people, for us to say, fuck you, Jeremy, you lost. We'll see you at seven. Because the shoulder should just be lined with douchebags that didn't make it. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. <laughs> and as most of you can tell, my winning attitude, recently single. Thank you for that. Um, I broke up with her, which is a rarity. Uh, I know some of you are looking at me like, you should probably hang on to anyone who's hanging out for any amount of time. You'd probably be right. But, you know, we just liked opposite things. We liked different things. I like to go out, I like to tell my jokes, I like to drink, I like to meet people. She, uh, she liked to stay inside and worry about shit that hadn't happened yet. Like the first time I stayed at her place, she goes, hey, you need to sleep on this side of the bed. I said, that's fine, is the other side like your side or something? She goes, no, you need to sleep here because it's closest to the door in case somebody breaks in and tries to rape me, you'll be on that side. Does this happen a lot? Because if it's gotten to the point where you had to start to prepare for it, I think you have grounds to break your lease. And that also makes me think that you think I might sleep through rape. I mean, what do you think's gonna happen? He's gonna break in, Get all the way to the bedroom and go, oh, fuck it, she's on the other side. <laughs> no, so I tell you what, dude breaks in, starts raping me, <laughs> waking her ass up. <laughs> Believe that. Hey! <laughs> what do you mean, what? It's a dude plowing the shit out of me back here. I kind of think he was looking for you. <laughs> 
All right, Elias, that's my time. Thank you guys for hanging out. Appreciate it. All the